Nothing gets me excited for a video game like a nice fat referral code right at the start. Truly referrals are the highest form of game design, which is why the greatest games of all time have used it, like Raid Shadow Legends. Truly the dark souls of our generation. Now jokes aside, it does make me happy if small creators can use dumb games like Raid Shadow Legends to make money. I mean, I've had friends who have like 100 viewers, 100 concurrent, and they're able to pay their rent with one Raid Shadow Legends stream. I do support that kind of thing, but we all know that referral codes for shitty games is kind of a bad way to build any content channel unless your goal is to get your followers to play the worst game possible it doesn't seem super sustainable to me that's why i have mixed feelings about the big announcement sky mavis's marketing team just made basically they're adding creator codes to the game these creator referral codes are so good for the game's ecosystem but it's gonna make everybody outside of lunasia even more suspicious of the idea Oh yeah, the game with all the referral codes and all the crypto, like, people are gonna think about Axie like Raid Shadow Legends 2.0 potentially. As someone who enjoys Axie a ton, I just accept that from now on, I guess a lot of people are gonna think I'm shilling a bad game for money. Literally like I was streaming Raid Shadow Legends full time. On the other hand, contrary to popular belief, Axie creators are not a bunch of rich crypto whales drooling over fat returns. A lot of us, like me, are actually relatively poor, and I live in America. I know a lot of people live in other economies, other places, the Philippines and elsewhere, where it's even tougher. The idea of creators receiving any kind of referral bonus or maybe a percentage of money spent by their viewers, especially when a lot of the YouTubers, the Twitch streamers, the Twitter accounts, just all the people involved in content around Axie are the lifeblood of the community at least one part of the, you know, one of the core pillars of the community. So the idea of creators winning on referral codes is a huge win. Overall, I'm actually a big fan of it. I just know it's gonna seem to a lot of people like there's some bullshit going on. Now's a good time to mention, use creator code FLUX in Axie Origin. All right, let's look at a few of the other juicy updates we learned during the Twitter spaces yesterday. All this is coming from a Twitter spaces that the Sky Mavis marketing team, as well as this new group they're working with called Uptick, they did a Twitter spaces. I have the attention span of a goldfish. Luckily, mysticscholars.eth. You might already be following them, but if not, make sure you give them a follow. So another question was the community are co-owners of Axie. How do we empower them? The answer we got was getting AXS into the hands of the community. One example of this is the leaderboard adjustments that have already happened. In season 20, the top 300,000 players are eligible for end of season AXS rewards. 300 times as many players as previous seasons where there was only a thousand. And of course, these lower rewards, the bottom 200,000 of the 300,000, it's not going to be crazy. But we're talking 40, 50 bucks worth of AXS, maybe a little less at current prices. Decent rewards, you know, a fraction of an AXS token, but a lot more than zero. And that's one example. Maybe we'll have other ways to earn AXS. I like the idea, though. Get the governance token into the hand of the community. That's how it's supposed to work. And to people like you and me, if you put in some good work, you should be able to get some AXS somehow. Next up, a question, what is user acquisition? And I like this answer a lot. A school of thought based on data, design, iteration, and optimization. The pillars are creatives, operations, and data science. Basically, do creative things. Make advertisements, fund organic content, sponsor stuff. Make creative content around the game happen in all the different ways. Then have the operations, the logistics, to do that sustainably over time and to keep building and use data science to look at the results, use math and data, don't guess when there's a mathematical answer available and iterate, iterate, iterate. So that's a great answer. What is sustainable user acquisition? The answer is that the money that new players spend in the ecosystem should be more than the money spent onboarding the new player on average. A closer look at user acquisition, some more notes here. Measurement is key, that data science part. We need, we need to accurately measure the value. We can't be guessing, oh, this creator seems fun. It must be working. We have to use data. A deep creative portfolio. We got to try a bunch of different stuff, different levels, different styles. What is the message? Axie Origin is a beautiful, fun, and competitive game. Absolutely. Continuing here, we got why is UA and Web3 hard? Why is user acquisition difficult? And a big thing is the legalities and the culture, right? A lot of people don't like NFTs. We've all seen plenty of NFT controversy, anti-NFT stuff, like this guy making fun of stolen NFTs. Stuff that will not age well, probably. It doesn't even offend me, but it's just like, you know, in a few years, this guy might feel like an idiot. I mean, hey, maybe not. M maybe he'll be perfectly happy with it. So there's some controversy. There's some mixed feelings. That's going to make user acquisition a little more difficult. On the other hand, controversy drives attention people are interested in what is controversial doesn't mean everything controversial is good some controversial things are fucking terrible but sometimes it helps 
I don't think you try to be controversial on purpose, but you also don't need to run away from it if you're being honest and authentic. The Axie world is used to being doubted. It was built in a bear market. We're getting back to that bear market vibe now. By the way, here's some examples of advertisements. You can imagine your friends, your family, your cousins seeing these kinds of ads in their phone, on their social media, all kinds of stuff like that. You can imagine this looking real good on a phone, right? A banner ad like this popping up looks great. Stay tuned. I'm sure there's going to be people digging into these photos looking for new information. Paging Axie Faction. He's already on it. Looks like lanes are confirmed to persist in origin, but their utility will definitely be different from what we know today. He's galaxy brain at all times. There are so many questions around how to market Axie Infinity. One takeaway for me is that we need to keep our expectations a little bit more reasonable. I've been guilty of this. I've talked about how big Axie Origin is going to be. Uptick mentioned that this is going to be a slow, organic process. The goal is not to have a huge wave on day one. I think the goal is to build up that momentum and then have a huge wave on month three, month six, year two. Once the game is ready for the marketing to ramp up alongside the game, there's a long way to go. There's going to be a lot of questions, a lot of concerns, a lot of controversy, a lot of fun, love, and passion. But that's all I got for you today. So thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.